everyone thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again today's video request is how to use the dropper tool on canva by the way the eyedropper tool is also known as the color picker tool so we're going to talk about it right now you may hear me interchange those words but they're the same thing okay for example there is a specific color you want to apply to your element to do that we're going to select the element that we want to change the color of then we're going to go to the color button on the toolbar above oh this one actually is an image element so we're going to choose another one yeah perhaps this one would do Okay, so we're going to go to the color button above. This has several colors. We're going to choose one that we'd like to change. Say, for example, this blue one. We'd like to change it to something else. So we're going to click on this plus button over here. And then we're going to click on this color picker tool or eyedropper tool right over here. So we're going to place it on top of the color that we want to copy. Say for example, this shade of pink. And then we're gonna click it. And as you can see, our element changed its color. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Let's try it one more time. We're gonna select another element this time. Just gonna undo that. Okay, so we're going to try to change the color of these flowers. Let's try it one more time. So click on your chosen element and then go to the color button. Select a color you'd like to change. For example, this white, white one. Okay, and we're going to click on this plus button. Go to the color picker tool and place it to the color that we want to copy say for example this shade of yellow and there you go that's how you use the color picker tool very simple to do if you want to learn more about color tools then feel free to keep watching because next we're going to talk about color generators and copy style there are two ways you can use the color generator tool, but let's talk about the easier and faster one first. When your design contains photo elements, it will automatically, or Canva, will automatically generate a color palette for each of those photos. Let me just show you what I mean. So here we have several photos. So we're gonna go to uh, we're just going to click on a random element so that we can get access to the uh, color panel over here. So this one, for example. And if we scroll down, you'll be able to see the, this portion over here, which is called photo colors. So photo colors, meaning these are the uh, colors that Canva uh, were able to gen was able to generate using the photos within your design so we're going to click on see all and here you'll be able to see all of the colors and the color palette canva automatically generated based on the photos that you have or that you've used on your design and it's as easy as that but if you want to learn how to do it the other way then here it is we're going to go to Google and we're going to do a quick Google search. We're going to type in using the keyword Canva color generator and we're going to click on the first link right here. So this will take us to Canva's color palette generator page. Okay, so we're going to try a demo image. So as you can see, these are the colors Canva was able to generate based on the uh, photo provided here. So of course, if you want to generate um, a color palette for a specific photo or from a specific photo, I mean, um, then you can go ahead and upload your image by clicking on this upload an image button. We're going to try that. We're going to select this one, for example, and then click on open. 
And there it is. So these are the colors that Canva was able to generate based on the picture that we uploaded to this web page. You can actually apply these colors to your Canva elements by following these steps. So you're going to have to hover on top of the uh, colors, choose a specific color you want to copy. Say, for example, this green right over here, click on copy. And then we're going to go back to our design and we're going to click on a specific element that we want to change colors so say for example these mountains on the back we're going to click on one of these colors but i'll choose this one and we're gonna go to the plus button once again and as you can see there is a code right here so each color that you choose has a code so we're going to delete this one and copy the code that we or yeah, paste the code that we copied earlier from Canva's color palette generator page. So we're going to backspace and then hit control plus V on our keyboard to copy the color that we generated earlier. And as you can see, it's the same shade of green right now. Okay. By the way, going back to Canva's color palette generator topic, you might wonder why Canva has this, even though it already has um, this. Well, there's actually a reason for that. And depending on what you're using for, you might find it helpful, actually. And the reason why it can be useful is because uh, you can use this tool even outside of Canva. Say, for example, you're an artist and you're inspired to create art using the colors of a specific picture. Then you can use the color generator tool to get the exact color codes of your picture and use it on your software. So as you can see here, apart from the uh, colors names, you'll also find their color codes below. So yeah, that's just one of the ways you can this tool even outside of Canva. All right, so now we're going to talk about copy style. So I'm just going to add another page over here. And I am going to uh, say, for example, choose a an element. Say, for example, this heart over. No, I'm not sure if we can copy element this or copy style this but yeah we're gonna give it a try so we're gonna copy this style over here i'm not sure though because well let's just give it a try all i know is that copy style works um by copying colors and by copying font fonts font styles so we're just gonna give it a try we're gonna click on an element and then click on these three button, this button that looks like three dots, and then copy style and then paste it here. And as expected, it did not work. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what you can use it for. Say for example, this is your text. It's very plain. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna change the font of this one. I'm gonna let's see, choose something like this perhaps make it a bit bigger, and also change its color to something else. How about this one? I think I like this one better, or this one. Okay, and we're going to um, click on it, and then click this button over here, copy style, and paste it over here. So as you can see, um, it copied the exact style, and I'm actually going to do that again to show you that it copies the style, but not everything entirely. So this one is of a different text now. This one says hi, while well, this one says your paragraph text. So we're going to copy style it again, and there you go. It doesn't change the content of your text, however, it does copy the style. And by style, that includes the font as well as the color. 
and yeah i guess that's all for today so we uh yeah we really hope you found today's video of help somehow and thank you so much for watching we really look forward to seeing you once again in the next video and until then yeah you have a great day